Hey everybody, welcome back to Food Prints. I'm so glad that you're here with me. Today's lesson is called Math and Measurement in the Garden. I really love this lesson because it's a way for us to see how things we learn in the classroom can be useful out in the real world. And we're going to do this by looking at two of my favorite things, math and growing things. That's right. The big idea we're exploring in this lesson is gardeners and farmers use math to plan their gardens. You may be wondering, why do gardeners and farmers need to use math and measurement skills? That is an excellent question. Gardeners and farmers use these skills to plan and prepare for growing fruits and vegetables. Can you think of any specific ways gardeners and farmers use math in their day-to-day -day work of growing fruits and vegetables? Here are a few examples that I can think of. Counting and spacing seeds so they can grow the most food in the space that they have. Oh, and another one. Measuring garden beds for perimeter and area to figure out how much space they actually need to plant things. And tracking how many plants grow so they know how much they may be able to harvest. Oh, and another one. Pricing fruits and vegetables to sell at the farmer's market or to a store or a restaurant. And I'm sure that there are many more that you and I can come up with if we really put our minds to it. But right now, I want to introduce you to a close friend of mine who uses her measuring and math skills every day as she plans her workspace. As you listen to my friend, think about the following questions. What problems did math skills help her solve? How does she use math skills to plan and prepare her garden? Why are math and measurement skills so important to her? All right, everyone, please, let me introduce you to my close friend, Ms. Tope Vajanbasi. She owns and operates Dodo Farms in Maryland with her husband, Olenihi. Hi, Ms. Tope, how are you today? I'm well, how are you? It's great to have you. The students and I are learning about how useful math is in many of our everyday activities, you know, like in the garden. I'm curious to know, how have you used math in your gardens recently? We use math all the time. As a matter of fact, when we're about to plan our planting, we use math to determine how many of a particular crop we can plant on each bed. Each bed is 100 feet long, so if we're planting broccoli, for example, Broccoli has to be planted two feet apart. So that means on a 100 feet bed, we can only plant 50. If the same thing for planting cauliflower, that also needs two feet apart. So we can only plant 50 on a 100 feet bed. But if you're planting something like lettuce, that can stand one feet apart. So on a 100 foot bed, we'll be able to plant 100 of those. So we use math all of the time. That's really interesting. Can you tell us about one time you had a problem in your garden and used math to help you solve it? So during the, during the off season, during the cold months, we usually do soil testing so that we can plan for the next year's planting. And last year, we did our soil testing and we realized that our soil was beginning to be deficient in copper sulfate. So we went to buy copper sulfate, but you cannot just up, throw the copper sulfate on the bed. So my knowledge of ratios had to come up at that point. And so what we did was we, we read that you need to put um, one pound of copper sulfate on half an acre. So that means if I have five acres, I need to apply 10 pounds of copper sulfate because one pound to half an acre. So for five acres, I would need 10 pounds of copper sulfate. So that's really, we needed to use ratios to solve that problem. That's awesome. And such a cool way to use ratios in real life. All right, one last question for you. Do you have any words of encouragement for students who may sometimes get frustrated in math class? This is such a good question because people get frustrated with math because they don't know math is like telling a story. Don't be stuck on the words and any formulas. Just think about math as you're telling a story. Just like I told you about the copper sulfate and I told you about planting. You're trying to tell a story. You're trying to tell somebody what happened and there's just a little calculation involved. Thank you, Ms. Tope, for such awesome words of encouragement. 
and thank you for talking with us today. It was so nice seeing you. It was very nice to see you too. Thank you for having me. I hope you enjoyed learning about some of the ways Ms. Tope uses math and measurement skills to do her job as a farmer. It was so interesting and exciting to learn about the different ways that she uses math in her daily work. What did you hear that inspired you or made you think about math in a new way? Has understanding math or using measuring skills helped you today? It's always a cool experience to see how the things we learn in school are really important in our lives. It might also be important for the jobs we'll have in the future. Well, that's today's lesson. Thank you so much for joining me, my friends. I'll see you all next time.